Hi, my name is Heikel. I'm an IELTS instructor for Spring College International Singapore. Today, I'd like to share with you some tips for your IELTS writing task too. Many of my students have come forward and shared with me some concerns about how they can develop their ideas when writing their body paragraphs. So today, I'd like to show you certain strategies you can adopt in writing your essay. First, we will be going through several question types. Then we will go forward with different levels of ideas and how you can adopt various perspectives when answering your question. And then we will do an essay analysis based on the Cambridge uh, IELTS uh, actual exam question. Right, so I'm sure you have known about the seven types of questions you will be encountering in your task too. The first one will be about the advantages and disadvantages, expository version. Next one will be the causes, problems and solutions. And the third one would be a mixed essay where you'll need to give a reason and a benefit. Next will be your opinion, which depends on how you interpret the question and which one you feel strongly. For the discussion, you'll be able to talk about both sides and then choose one particular side that you're confident in. Lastly, there will be advantages and disadvantages with the opinion version as well as a two-part expository and opinion. So as you attend my classes, you'll be able to see the distinct difference among all of them. So let's first look at levels. Now before you embark on your particular topic, you might want to adopt a different standpoint or you might want to organize your ideas into three main standpoints. Firstly, is the individual level, where you talk about how one person can directly relate to the issue at hand. Then there's the organizational level, where you can talk about community clubs or companies who are perhaps mainly profit-oriented and how they struggle or perhaps uh, juggle with corporate responsibility. Next will be the societal or national level, where you talk about mannerisms in society, social norms, as well as governmental policies and how there will be a lot of discussion based on the welfare of the people. Okay, so you'll be able to see this uh, in action when we do an essay analysis later on. Right, so once you have finalized the kind of level you wish to adopt, you can then think about the perspective of the question. So you can adopt various perspectives such as environmental, social, psychological, physical and mental health, financial and economic, physical and online safety and security, cultural, educational and ethical. Now bear in mind you can have a mixture of two or three when you are giving your examples as well as giving a different viewpoint because some questions will require you to give opposite sides whereas if you decide to completely agree to a particular question then it's easier for you to explain in the same idea right so let's take a look at how we adopt these perspectives in a particular Cambridge IELTS question all right so now it's time for us to see how we can adopt these perspectives let's read this question some people believe that it is best to accept a bad situation such as an unsatisfactory job or shortage of money. Others argue that it is better to try and improve such situations. Discuss both these views and give your own opinion. Right, so look at the uh, question uh, instruction here. You have to give two opposing views and then you tell me which side you're on. Right? And over here, you can identify two distinguishing parts of the question, right? So let's go here. Let's do a quick analysis. So there are two situations you need to be aware of. First is that you accept the bad situation, and that could come in the form of unsatisfactory job, shortage of money, uh, staying in a stagnant company, Right? or being uh, demoralized, uh, being treated badly or abused by co-workers or even your family members. Right? So that's situation one. Situation two is where you attempt to improve the situation, to try to get out of the situation 
and create some form of improved quality life for yourself. Okay? So with that said, it's time for us to look at a model answer by, provided by the Cambridge IELTS. Right, so now let's look at a sample candidate answer who had achieved a band score of 7. So as you can see from the structure, there are five main paragraphs. The introduction, the intro is here, and then there are three body paragraphs. So there's one, two, and three. And lastly is the conclusion paragraph, right? So each body paragraph is dedicated to explaining the different situations. Situation one, over here, situation two, and lastly, your opinion paragraph, situation three. So let's look at each particular paragraph and we can see how the perspectives are being adopted. Right, so let's now focus on section one, where we have to focus on accepting the bad situation. And in this instance, you'll be able to see how the writer adopted an individual level and a psychological and educational perspective. So let's take a read. Based on my knowledge, some people choose to accept the fate that they have to undergo the bad situation as they believe that good things might come out of it. Their solution is simply to just go with the flow because they think that they will learn something new along the journey. For example, a student received a great B for his physics examination. However, he only needs one more mark to get an A. If a student requires to receive a mark percentage of 70% to get an A, this student got a 69% on his paper. As the teacher looked through the questions with the whole class, he notices that the teacher accidentally marked his correct answer to wrong. So realistically, he should get an A. However, he chooses to leave his grade as a B because he believes that his current grade will be a motivation for him to improve and work harder to get a better grade in the next examination. Hence, this explains why some people choose to accept the bad situation. So, we're just going to be focusing on the task achievement. We're not going to look at the grammar or the spelling, etc. Right, so from the individual level, you can see that we're talking about a particular student, okay? So I'll just underline here. So this is already illustrating the individual level. Now, where do you see the psychological and educational level? From the red underlines. They believe that good things might come out of it. So this belief, right, is coupled with your thoughts. And this is a psychological approach. Uh, they think they will learn something new along the journey. This is how you elaborate, okay, based on the good things. Right? So this is psychological. Now, there's also a further uh, example given where chooses to leave his grade as a B because he believes his current grade will be a motivation for him to improve. So motivation here is a key word to indicate how this psychological factor is key to why the person accepts his bad situation. Right? And this example is educational in nature. So sometimes when you can't really think of an exact occurrence that has happened in real life or any statistics to support your idea, you can give a scenario-based example. And this is where you illustrate how the acceptance of a bad example is actually occurring in real life. Because I'm very sure there are students who would do this if they have the positive mindset of challenging him or herself. Okay? So that is for paragraph 2 of the body, situation 1. Okay? So now let's look at the next one. I'll just erase this first. Okay? So now let's look at situation 2, where you have to tell the reader that the person has to try his or her best and improve the current state of things. Now let's take a look at the text. Besides that, it is also mentioned that others argue that it's better to try and improve such situations. 
I believe the reason they act that way is because they feel a bit paranoid that the situation will become worse if they do not do so. For instance, a person had to undergo a shortage of money. Logically, they will feel a little paranoid that at one point, they might have to experience an empty pocket and had to leave in the streets. Regarding that matter, they figured out a solution to improvise such situations by getting an extra or part-time job. This solution will help them to gain extra money to pay their daily expenses such as water and electricity bills. This means that their problems are solved and they are now worry-free. So you can see here that the writer adopted an individual viewpoint. He gave an example of a person with financial difficulties and then he talks about his psychological state of mind, which is the feeling a little paranoid. And then based on that paranoia, he decided to embark on another part-time job. Right? So this helps to supplement his current financial situation. Okay? So do you see here the flow is very clear where the person is trying his best to get out of the situation and not giving in to all the insecurities the person has inside. Alright? So that's all for the second part of the body. Right. Then comes to the opinion of the writer. Let's read. In my honest opinion, I strongly suggest that one can choose to act in both situations according to situations. When facing a problem, think of the best solution to solve it. If the situation requires you to simply ignore it, then just do so. There is no need in figuring out a way to improve those situations as it will take up your time and cause stress. However, if the situation requires you to take action quickly, by all means, do so, as you might not know what are the consequences if you ignore the problem. So over here, again, the person has an individual approach and talks about mental health. Why? Because there's the word stress involved, which I need to circle here. Right? And then he or she also talks about the requirement of taking action quickly if your immediate safety and security is compromised because you can see here you might not know what are the consequences if you ignore the problem right so in this case you might want to uh, refer back to your earlier example in your second paragraph about a potential uh, problem that might occur. So, like in paragraph 2, if you have financial difficulties paying off your bills, then of course, bank companies, utilities companies will come knocking on your door and, you know, perhaps even declare you bankrupt if you can't pay all of this. So, that is the immediate consequence you have to consider, right? So, in this case, Opinion here is important in telling the marker which side you are on. And in this case, it's clearly that the writer is considering to try his best if the situation is very urgent. At the same time, the writer also tells us to take it easy, take a step back and perhaps endure through the tough times. Okay, so with that said, you can tell that there is a clear flow in how the writer develops his paragraph using a variety of perspectives. Okay, so if I were to go back to slides, just hold on. perspectives are flexible enough or uh, are open enough to be adopted in whatever questions you might encounter. 
right? So even for that same question, okay, you can perhaps adopt different perspectives to answer that question. So we have covered psychological, we have covered mental health, physical health, perhaps, right? You can, uh, we've also covered financial and economic, and even safety and security to an extent for the opinion paragraph, okay? So besides that, we also covered educational as part of the example, right? And we have not covered ethical. Now, ethical is a strong perspective you can adopt for this question. So let's go back to that question here. Right, let me just erase everything here. All right, so let's think from an ethical point of view. Accept a bad situation, such as an unsatisfactory job or shortage of money. Others argue it's better to try and improve such situations. Right, so from an ethical point of view, if your own negative situation affects others, others under your care, then it's best that you consider their interests and not simply endure it and the rest will also have to suffer along with you, right? So if you are a primary caregiver to your children or to an elderly, you need to ensure that you have a sustainable amount of income in order to attend to their needs. So that might not be uh, applicable if you choose to accept the bad situation. You have to then put in the effort to get out of the situation of poverty and then source for different ways to bring home the income. Okay, so that's one way you can argue from the ethical point of view. Okay, so with that said, I just need you to remember the main the two main parts of body planning uh, would be for you to consider the levels, the view, the standpoint, individual, organizational, and societal or national, and the perspectives. There are about eight to ten perspectives you can adopt. Okay. So that's all for today. I'll see you in the next lesson.